Well, now I'll take you back to that story about uh, the late gospel singer Usinachi Nwachuku, who was killed by her husband, uh, well, who died as a result of injuries which she got from beatings from her husband. And that incident has generated intense interest and questions about uh, the theology surrounding marriage because she was said to have repeatedly refused to leave that toxic marriage believing that it is a sin against her Christian faith. Well, we have been joined by Pastor Femi Fasher, resident pastor, KICC Lagos. Pastor Femi, good evening to you. Good evening, Meno. Well, you've written two books on marriage. One, Married But Single, and the second one, Get Marriage Right. This death of this gospel artist has raised questions surrounding the theology of marriage. Tell us. What does the Bible say about divorce? Um, the, the Bible is very, very clear about, about divorce. Um, in the book of Deuteronomy was addressed where um, the Bible made it clear that if for whatever reason you are unpleased with the person that you have married, um, you are free to let the person go. It's so clear. Um, Jesus himself also um, um, alluded to this. He did say um, in Matthew chapter 19, he did say that um, divorce was allowed through Moses so that people won't end up killing themselves. And Jesus even went further to even give a condition to say, look, um, if the divorce is based on um sexual immorality uh, this is the condition of remarriage jesus spoke about remarriage so if we will speak about remarriage then jesus obviously approves divorce now don't get me wrong bible is clear that god hates divorce even before jesus began to speak about divorce or separation he spoke about reconciliation he spoke about forgiveness um, in Matthew chapter 18. So, um, Bible is clear. Divorce is permitted, even though it is not the first option as far as God is concerned. But however, it is permitted. Now, this, um, a lot of people out there may just raise their eyebrows based um, to the thing I want to say right now. Divorce can happen in a marriage. When and without any, how should without it any happen? reason, and it's and, and it's not seen. When and how without, should it happen? It can happen if you are unpleased with the relationship. If you are unpleased with the relationship, you can, you can. Um, Deuteronomy chapter twenty-one verse fourteen specifically it says it shall be if you are not pleased with her, then you shall let her go. Whenever she wishes. Why if you are not it, pleased with her. Why is it that there is so much fear among some Christians that getting divorced will put them in God's bad book, that it could send them to hellfire, which is a major reason why someone like Osinachi refused to leave her marriage because she says it is a sin against her faith. And many women, I can tell you that for sure, think so as well. Why do they think so? For a long time, I thought so as well, because that's what was preached behind the pulpit for a long time. But um, as I began to teach and study and teach on marriage, I found out that it wasn't exactly like that. Yes, God does not, God hates divorce. That's the way Bible puts it. God hates divorce. But however, because of the stubbornness of the heart of man, divorce was allowed. And we need to teach what the Bible says, not what we think. We need to go into the Bible. Jesus addressed the issue of remarriage. He wouldn't talk about remarriage if there is no allowance for divorce. It's clear. So there are conditions. And listen, listen, it doesn't have to, you don't have to have a reason. 
You don't, you have, don't to have, have to have a reason. reason. You, don't, you don't have to have a reason that is acceptable to anyone. You don't have to. You don't have to. That's the truth of the matter. You don't have to have a reason before, you know, you say you, you're done. And what, what God is trying to do there is to say, look, you've got to respect your covenant. But for whatever reason, if you say you are out of this, you cannot just go and remarry. Know that when you're out of this, you're going to stay alone, except for these conditions. Number one, if you are coming out because of sexual immorality. Number two, because the person died. Number three, if the person put you out, if the person leaves, those three conditions will allow you to remarry. But you don't actually have divorce is not a sin under God because God allowed it through Moses. Jesus seconded it. And this is the this is the true gospel. However, we are in the ministry of reconciliation. That is why we want to walk through couples and walk through the, 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 their differences and see if we can help them. Please don't blame the church. The work of the church is reconciliation. It is for the courthouses to separate and divorce. But for the church is reconciliation. So we, our job is to try and see if there are differences in your relationship. How can we help you walk through this using the word of God? Okay. Well, the rate of failed marriages is on the increase globally. Why are so many people getting it wrong in marriage today? D different reasons. Different reasons why people are getting uh, marriage wrong. It could be because... Um, immature people are getting involved in marriage. Marriage is for a man and a woman. It is not for a boy and a woman. It is not for a girl and a man. It is not for a boy and a boy. And when we talk about a boy or a girl or a man or a woman, we are not talking about age. We are talking about you having understanding of what you're getting into. Do you have an understanding that when you want to leave and cleave with your spouse, you are basically going to be sharing your lives together? You are going to be able, you are going to be sharing um, your 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 vision together. You are going to be helping each other. The two of you are going to become one. Are you ready to leave me and become us? Are you ready for that? So the level of maturity. Sometimes people think, oh, I've got to marry because people expect me to marry. Something people get into marriage because they say, oh, my biological clock is ticking. Some people get married because um, of convenience. Some people get married because um, they need a um, companion. That's a good reason to get married, but it's not all of the reason for you to get married. Well, a lot, Some people uh, marry for wrong reasons. Yeah, you have said that the church should not be blamed. Uh, but incidentally, a large chunk of the number of marriages failing are marriages belonging to Christians. Um, how, how does one reconcile the fact that these are people who belong to a faith that says um, marriage should, you know, holds marriage in high esteem? Is it that they are not well prepared by their pastors and leaders in church or what? It's very difficult for you to be prepared to be, to be, to be, to be uh, fully prepared for marriage because marriage is also a step of faith. Two different people coming together to come and live their lives together. Even though you've known each other, you've dated, you've um, um, you, you, you've been going out for for years. Um, living together is different. Putting your finances together, putting your life together is a whole different ball game. It is after you left the house that you now basically move under the same roof. That you now begin to. Um, know yourself for you who you are that is when the fruit of the spirit needs to now kick in patience understanding long suffering and all these things and sometimes when you have people who have too much high expectation um they think that marriage is something about some a storybook they, they read and they expect this or that not knowing that they have to work to achieve they have to understand each other they owe themselves um, the responsibility of having to know one another and having to find a way to please one another. Of yeah. course, not to beat the other person into submission or into agreement.
Oh, thank you so much, Pastor Femi Fasharu. Uh, pastor Femi Fasharu is a resident pastor of KICC. Time will not permit us to ask more questions about this because this is, this is something that's really uh, in the heart of so many people right now. Uh, you've written two books, Married But Single and Get Married Right. And you said these books are on Amazon right now. Yes, they are on Amazon, Mar Married But Living Single, basically um, speaks about, you know, two people that are married but living under the same roof, but they don't share their lives together. They have not more than um, roommates. And basically that is bad for marriage. Um, Get Marriage Right is actually a book to actually tell you what the mind of God is about marriage. It also speaks about divorce. It speaks about, um, it, it speaks about separation. And it also speaks about remarriage. Thank you. Board. Thank you so much for your time, Pastor Femi Fashiro. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.